inside his own zone. The Lakers completing a line change as King skates to center and hooks up with Chris Carr. Carr straight into the zone. Carr to the circle. Moves right in. Shoots. Yeah. There's a the guy that needs to step up, and Chris Carr into the zone from the right circle makes the Lakers... Get the first goal of the game, it's one nothing. A great shot there by Chris Carr, but that play was set up by Den King, able to control the puck in his own zone, use his speed, and find Carr just over the red line, as Carr just has no trouble walking right in, and beats, and beats Broadwater to make this a one nothing game. Ripped around the board, took a funny bounce, and Linebrock will carry it out. A pass and breakaway, Rodriguez, moving it on goal, back hit, goal! Streaking through the middle, he makes the backhand move and scores to make the Lakers up two to nothing. Paul Rodriguez exercising his speed in this one, able to walk in and take that nice big shot off of Broadwater and line up with that great speed, that great awareness to know where Rodriguez was on that ice and able to beat a trailing Hobart defenseman and put some good moves on and almost beat Broadwater out of his pants in that one. Off to Fiorentino, ripping it quickly across the ice on the left side, but Olsen couldn't get anywhere. Now brought in. By O'Neill, he sends it back across Fiorentino with a shot. He scores! Tommy Fiorentino with less than two minutes to go. And Broadwater was on his way to the bench, but he'll head back in the net. It's a two-to-one game now. And Tommy Fiorentino just the guilty part of a trailing the play and gets that pet nice speed and just by the goal line and able to see one by Andrew Hare. So it makes it a little more, game a little more interesting here with 2-1 with a buck 51 left, but Florentino just patient with the buck and just finds his, find his, find the time, finds a quick stab shot, and Hobart's able to get back on the board. Palaturo against Brown. Brown prevails. Reve off with the puck. Gets it around the boards. White keeps it in. Ten seconds to go. White down low. Reve tries to just kill off the remaining seconds. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Send to the front! They score! There's no time on the clock! Will it count? The officials are saying the goal is going to count for the moment. And we will have a conversation. There is zero seconds on the clock. But that goes down the way, top right? That buzzer was going off before that puck crossed that goal line. I don't know. The officials got to win that one. This game's got to be over on that one. It, it looked to me, too, Connor, like time had expired before the puck was put in the net. John, or Chris Brown, having a conversation with the official, also Salaturo talking with him. They can't review it, so it's going to be up to the official. Again, if there's no time on the clock, how can the goal count? Because you have to, there has to be time left on the clock for a goal to count. The goal has been put up on the board here by Hobart. So of course, the, the scoreboard operators here in Hobart. That'd be a dangerous way to end this one, Mike. Uh, uh, for if they allow Hobart to get some, this gives Hobart some new life here, and not really sure how this one can be allowed in because the, the, the buzzer was one was definitely going off as that goal crossed, and as the referee you know that it was in the back of the net. Still no word from the officials. They continue to talk to both sides of the coaching staff, but I think they're counting the goal. Ryan Corcoran getting credit. Officials are still talking it over. And now they've put, they put two minutes on the clock and it's winding down. And that, I guess, signals us heading for overtime. Fed through the middle and picked up by Traversa. He's checked by Ayotte. Here comes Josepher skating into the zone. Josepher drops off Hughes over to Browse. Dinner in front of the goal! left in overtime. The losing streak ends at two and the Lakers give Hobart their first loss of the season. A great effort every day. We're going to say Lakers throw the puck on net. Hope for a nice big rebound. Gets the first initial pass. Finds the pro- frog butter down. Seeks the puck in the back of the net. Lakers come out victorious. End that two-game streak. And to go back to the Canvas Center with a Pet Finder Classic with a, couple, with a big win as their momentum shifts. Admittedly, I'm not sure who skated went off of. I think, I think for anybody in the Lakers team, you should have got off of anybody, and that would be happy with They don't one. care. They yeah. don't care. That W is the biggest thing. 
Yeah, Zach Josepher with some good movement there. I think Chris Muse may have been involved at some point with his with his size in the Lakers. You know, should have won you know minutes ago with the uh, phantom goal, and then up to come out victorious and uh, saw one heck of a hockey game. Goal being announced. Chris Brown is being given credit for the game winner, and many would say justice is served here inside the Geneva Recreation Complex. 